Arlington ISD's Board of Trustees meeting on September 7th, 2023 is in the books, and I wanted to brief you on a few of the highlights. Now that the school year is in full swing, we get to enjoy student participation at many of our meetings. These are always the biggest highlights. Tonight, it was the Lamar High School String Quintet that kicked things off. Under the direction of Lamar Orchestra's head director, Andrew Walton, the five student musicians played a joyous, upbeat tune titled Sunburst by Alan Lee Silva. Then we got to honor the first student of the month for the 23-24 school year. It's Gabby Webb from Arlington High School. Congratulations, Gabby. From the student of the month, we moved to our community partner of the month. We presented the Community Powered by Possibilities Award of Appreciation to the Arlington Board of Realtors, or ARBOR. ARBOR has supported our learning community in many ways, including providing college scholarships to local students and hosting an annual school supply drive. And just last month, they hosted 300 Arlington ISD staff members for a school year kickoff luncheon. Thank you, Arbor. Then it was time to get down to business. First, we approved a legislative agenda for the anticipated upcoming special Texas legislative session focused on education. The full legislative agenda that we approved prior to the start of the 88th legislative session last spring is still relevant and important, but this abbreviated version focuses only on finance and accountability, topics that will figure prominently in the special session. We also approved our annual contract with the Greater Arlington Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber helps provide opportunities for students by encouraging the local business community to get involved with our school district. The Chamber also runs the popular What's Your Big Idea contest that promotes entrepreneurship for students in third grade through high school. Later, we heard a presentation from Dr. Natalie Lopez, Arlington ISD Assistant Superintendent for Research and Accountability, about the district star results in grades three through eight. A redesigned star test was launched last year and the scores were released much later than normal, with the scores for grades three through eight just coming out last month. Those are just a few of the highlights from tonight. If you would like more details on any of these or any of the items I didn't cover, please click on the link on the screen to watch the entire board meeting. Thank you.